This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and today we are here to make an attempt at making my suede wheel look brand new or look better than it did. So with the explosion of high-end gear, many sim racers out there are now using real steering wheels, many of them covered in suede. It's got a beautiful, soft finish. It looks good. It's elegant. It's high-end. And it does have its inherent problems. So those drivers, they find after usage that it starts to get that waxy, glossy, matted down look about it that comes from using a suede wheel with your bare hands. Now, to totally confess, I've been using this Momo wheel for many, many years without gloves, and it is plagued by the same problem, maybe to the point that it's not even recoverable. But when your suede gets that waxy, matted down look, you know what that is? That's a bunch of dirt. That's a bunch of grime. That's a bunch of sweat collecting in the suede fabric and turning it almost into a smooth leather wheel. Now, to be honest with you, when you run a suede wheel, you are supposed to use racing gloves with it, which is sort of ironic because it defeats the point, in my opinion, of a suede wheel. It feels so nice. You put your gloves on, you don't even get that feeling anymore. However, if you do run it with your bare hands, it's going to get gross. It's going to get slick. It's going to get disgusting. But luckily, there are some products out there. There are some ways to bring that finish back to life. So when I looked into remedies for curing a matted down suede wheel, you find videos all over the internet. There are a few tools available, but it was actually Jay Leno's garage that had a pretty thorough video showing you all the steps to recondition a steering wheel. So I figured I would take their approach to see how it happened. So I found this kit here. It included a cleaning solution. It included a typical suede brush. It included more of a normal brush for working the solution and then a microfiber rag that could be used to recondition the suede wheel. And by the way, you can get the suede brush on its own for about $5 and that might be all you need. We'll talk about that a little later. So it all started with me removing the Momo from my wheel hub so I could give it all the attention that I needed. I then used a little of the solution, spraying it onto the wheel in the grip area of one side of the rim. I used the big brush and mostly used a circular motion with the solution, rubbing it into the suede, and I could immediately see dirt coming off the wheel. I kept working in circles over the entire worn area, front, back, and around the center spoke area as best I could. I then used the microfiber rag to wipe away as much of the cleaner as possible, but stayed away from squeezing the grip with the rag. I then moved on to the other side of the wheel and repeated the process. Once finished, I let the rim sit in a dry area overnight until it completely dried. Then came stage two of actually using that smaller brush, which has a bunch of different sides to it. You've got rubber bristles, you've got brass and, and plastic bristles over here, and then you've got some rubber wedges that you can use in funny areas. I found that I used all four sides of this brush in working the wheel, but again, using a circular motion, I started working the suede and I could see it coming back to life. In some areas, the brass brush worked well, and in other areas, the rubber brush worked even better. Patiently, gently, I continued to brush until I finally got to the point where it was no longer improving. I then switched back over to the other side and I repeated the process of gently loosening the suede with a combination of the brush heads until I got it as best I could. In the end, there was new life to my wheel and it looks considerably better. And judging by the color of the rags and the paper towels, think about how much disgusting sweat, skin, dirt, and grime just came off of the wheel. It was embedded in the wheel every time I held it that was in my hands. Now it's luckily in those rags and we've improved the overall look. Now in doing this, there are a few things that I have learned. Number one, there is a point that your wheel is too worn out. This wheel had been used for three, four years before I even tried for the first time ever. And it was to the point where I was only gonna be able to get it to come back so much. On a less worn wheel, you'll find it comes all the way back to looking practically brand new. And number two, even though Jay Leno's garage recommended using the cleaning solution, I actually found that it almost made matters worse in some ways. Yes, I got a lot more dirt off of it. However, it did kind of mat it down more permanently than using the brush all alone. So if you out there are doing this, I would start off 
with just a $5 brush. I would do it soon. I would do it often on a brand new wheel and hopefully never let it get that built up. However, if you're using bare hands instead of gloves, it's going to happen and it's going to get worse over time no matter what. And that leads me directly to number three. If you're not going to wear gloves when you sim race, and I totally understand everybody out there who says, I don't want to wear gloves when I sim race, then don't buy a suede wheel. There are other options that are fantastic options. You can get hard leather. You can get smooth leather. You can get synthetic materials in a variety of high-tech finishes. And there's always Alcantara, which is practically a simulation or imitation suede that feels really nice and lasts a lot longer. And that takes me directly to number four. If you are gonna opt for Alcantara and run it with gloves, even though it's a synthetic material, it will still actually do a similar type of thing over time. Luckily enough, the $5 brush, maybe even a toothbrush would be adequate for Alcantara. Just make sure you give it a little gentle scrubbing. It'll help kick the dirt off of it and it'll bring that finish back to life even on an Alcantara wheel rim. So I hope this video teaches you how to get the most out of your suede finish on your wheel or maybe teaches you how to not be like me and go naked on a suede wheel and completely ruin it. Or best of yet, maybe it taught you to pick the right finish for your usage when it comes to a high-end steering wheel in sim racing. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Be sure to thumbs up if you like what we did. Get out there and do some sim racing. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.